Hi, I'm Spartan with uh, Fluke to Do Fine Furniture and Woodwork, and today I've decided to walk you through uh, the making of a coffee table. I've uh, managed to get my hands on a piece of this barn board from a barn that was built in 1791, and as you can see, that's cherry. I guess they really had an abundance of it at one time. But it's a beautiful, beautiful old piece of wood and looks even better once you get it planed down, which I have an example around here somewhere uh, that I will be using for my coffee table. And it's right here. Hopefully we can get some good light on it. Plane down, ready to become a coffee table. Now, obviously, it's not quite wide enough to be a coffee table, so I decided that I was going to extend either side using this aspen that has a beautiful white color and it's really going to bring out the grain of the cherry. And I managed to find a set of legs for the coffee table. These are hay trucks. You find them in old barns where they used to, these used to be attached to the ceiling with a big rope going through those wheels and they would cart the uh, bales of hay one after another into the barn and then flip a, flip a switch, although they wouldn't have called it a switch at the time, and uh, drop the hay. So I don't know what year these are from, but you can still see some of the original uh, writing on it. This is, these two particular ones are from London, Ontario. I don't see a year, but uh, that's what you can see on them. They are matching. So I was lucky to find them. I paid about $80 for these. And they are going to be the legs of this barn uh, coffee table that I'm working on. I haven't decided how to attach them yet, but that's them.
hemmed in, if you will, by Aspen. 